Let us take some examples on basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem which we saw earlier. So you have two examples in front of you, example number one and example number two. So let's look at the first one. You have triangle ABC and you are told that if AD is to DB is 4 is to 5. Now we don't know what is the length of AD okay we don't know what is the length of db what we are told is that the ratio of these two is equal to 4 is to 5 right and what we also know is that the figure tells you that de is parallel to bc right now according to the thales theorem if there is one line which is parallel to any of the lines of the triangle in this case you have DE which is parallel to BC then what is the rule the rule is that the ratio of two sides which is AD is to DB or the ratio in which this line divides AD and DB is always equal to the ratio in which it divides AE and EC right you're asked to find out what is the length of EC now assuming for a moment that these ratios are representing centimeters, so let's say this is 4 centimeter, this is 5 centimeter, and this is basically 8 centimeter, right? Then in that case, can you find out EC? That's pretty simple. We know the length of AD. How much is that? 4 centimeter upon, what is the length of DB? It's 5 centimeter is equal to AE, AE again the length which is there for AE is given to you as 8 centimeter divided by EC or in other words EC is equal to 8 times 5 divided by 4 which is 10 centimeters so the length of EC is actually equal to 10 centimeter look at the second question here also you have triangle ABC you are given that ED is parallel to BC right ED is parallel to BC one side of a triangle is parallel to the other side then it divides the other two sides which is AC and which is the third side it is AB that has to be divided in the same ratio or in other words AE upon EC should be equal to AD upon D B. Right? Now what do I know out of this? Let me solve it over here instead of getting onto the new page. The ratio of AD is to DB which is these two is 5 is to 7. Right? Let's assume for a moment that this is 5 cm and 7 cm. So 5 cm divided by 7 cm is equal to AE upon EC. Do we know either of these two values? The answer is no, we don't know either of them, but we know that AC, AC, which is this particular length, is equal to 18 centimeter. Or in other words, AE plus AC is what we know. Right? So for a moment, if let's say I say AE plus EC is equal to 18 centimeter. Can I say that AE is equal to 18 minus EC? Right? And what I do here is I just put in something like this 18 centimeter minus EC. So what I did was instead of AE, I have replaced it over divided by EC. Right? If I solve this equation, I would get 5 times EC is equal to 18 times 7. This is becoming a little clumsy. Let's solve it on the next page. I'll just take it down. So if I just solve it for this, I get 5 EC is equal to 7 times 18, 70 plus 56, 126. I take the 7 EC to the other side. I get 12 EC is equal to 126 or EC is equal to 126 by 12 which is 10.5 centimeter right 
what do we need to do here? We need to find out the value of AE and AE is equal to 18 minus EC. So AE is equal to 18 minus EC or 18 minus 10.5 which is 7.5 centimeter. Right? And that's your answer. So basically you can just apply the Thales theorem to get the value of either of these two sides. You just need to put them in a relevant formula. I hope you had a good time understanding this. Thank you for being with us today.